come from? You come from Hangwell. Go back there. Hangwell. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. So long. Frightening people like that. How will he like it himself? It's quite fine now, Clara. It's quite fine now, Clara. We can walk to, to the motor bus. Come but on. We can. Come on. Oh, let's go. 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 Let's go.
then I'll go as where. Good enough for what? Oh, oh, no. Now you know, don't you? I come to have lessons. I am. And to pay for them, make no mistake. Well, what do you expect to me to say to you? Well, if you were a gentleman, you might ask me to sit down, I think. Don't I tell you I'm bringing you business? Pickering, shall we ask Dix back to sit down or shall we throw her out of the window? Ah, I won't be cold little baggage when I offer to pay like any lady. What did you want, my girl? I want to be a lady in a flower shop instead of selling at uh, the corner of the Tottenham Court Road. But they won't, they, they won't take me unless I, I can talk more gentle. I, he said he could teach me. Well, here I am, ready, ready to pay him, not asking him any favor. And he treats me as if I was dirt. How much? How much money you can pay? Now you're talking. I thought you'd come off it when you saw a chance of getting back a bit of what you chucked me at last night. You had a drop in, hadn't you? Sit down. Oh, if you're good to make a compliment of it. Sit down. Won't you sit down? Don't mind if I do so. What's your name? Lisa the Little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be silly. You mustn't speak to the gentleman like that. Well, why won't he speak sensible to me? Come back to business. How much do you propose to pay me for the lessons? Oh, I know what's right. A lady friend of mine gets French lessons for 18 pence an hour from a real French gentleman. Well, you wouldn't have to face the, the uh, to ask me the same for teaching me my own language as you would for French. So I won't give you that more than a silly. Take it or leave it. You know, Pickering, if you consider a shilling, not a simple shilling, but as a percentage of this girl's income, it works out uh, as fully equivalent to six or seventy guineas for a million. How so? Figure it out. A million has about one hundred fifty pounds a day. She earns about half a crown. Don't you lie? She offered me two fifths of her day's income for a lesson. Two fifths of, uh, of a millionaire's income for a day would be somewhere about 60 pence. <gasps> it's handsome. But George, it's enormous. It's the biggest offer I ever had. 60 pence? What are you talking about? I never offered you 60 pounds. Where would I get? Hold your <laughs> tongue. But I ain't got 60 pounds, so... <laughs> Somebody's going to touch you with a brown stick. If you don't stop sniveling, sit down. Uh, what would think you were my father? If I decided to touch you, I'd be worse than two fathers to you here. Here you have uh, this, this handkerchief. What's this for? To wipe your eyes. To wipe any part of your face that feels moist. Remember that's your handkerchief and that's your sleeve. Don't mistake the one for the other if you wish to become a lady in a shop. Please, I'm interested. What about the investment garden party? I see you to the greatest teacher alive if you are made that good. I will pay you all everything. Oh, you are real good. Thank you, Captain. It's almost irresistible. She's so deliciously low. So uh, horrible dirty. Oh, I ain't dirty. I wash my face and hands before I come. I did. What is life but a series of these impious follies? The difficulty is to find them to do. Never lose a chance. It doesn't come every day. I shall make a duchess of this draggle tail gutter snake. Oh. Yes, yes. In six months, in three, if she has a good ear and, and quick tongue, I'll take her anyway and pass her up as, as anything. We'll start today, now, this moment. Take her away and clean her. Me yeah. Mrs. Spears, let's have a stop with her. Is there any good fire in the kitchen? Yes, but Mr. Higgins... Take her clothes off and burn them. Bring up our money or somebody for new, for new ones. Wrap her up in brown paper till they come. You're not a gentleman!